like a hitbox from Mewtwo's Nair, the the character getting hit like is move, moving around, moving, yeah. moves that's around true, that's as true. if he's getting hit several times. That's very true. So it's very possible that that's going to be his uh, <clears throat> win con against that uh, focus attack. Because characters that don't have a multi-hit move, Ryu kind of laughs at him a bit. <clears throat> like, <laughs> I could just throw this out in neutral now. Over and over and <clears throat> over again. So it, it's scary. But um, I don't think it's good. too much to consider, though, because, I mean... No, it's, it's, still, it's still a viable move, regardless. Yeah. And it's still not terribly spammable. You can't just throw it out there. You, you definitely need to play somewhat smart. Um, I, I would like to talk a bit about oh, Ryu's Hadoukens, okay. right? Uh, both the quarter circle, or not, yeah, both the quarter circle and the semicircle variant. So the regular Hadoken, and I don't know what the other one's called. I want to say it's a Tensho Hadoken, but it's not, because Tensho Hadoken is a. I can't super. even pronounce those words you're telling me right now. <laughs> so I have no idea what that special Hadoken is called. But uh, those two Hadoken variants, the way you need to use them as Ryu is strange. It's not like how most fighting game characters, at least in Smash, it's not how most characters in Smash use their uh, projectiles. Your goal isn't to hit the opponent with them necessarily. Very clean play from Mike. That there. entire first set of stocks right there, Kami was just kind of outspacing Mike Age, not letting Man, him get in. Taking it just like that. Kami just responded with a forward smash, killing Mike AG. Forward air. Might as well have been a forward smash in the air, though. Uh, Kami got the forward I, I air and Mike AG. I forward smash. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Mike AG got a forward smash. Did I say it incorrectly? My yeah. Mistake. It happens, dude. Trust me. Especially when you're saying all these names back to back with different people. Yeah. But anyway, I'm just trying um, to keep track of names. Yeah. <laughs> so, using Hadoken, it, it, the way you want to use it is to kind of force your opponent to eventually move. You kind of just chuck the Hadoken safely and say, you're coming to me, I'm yeah. going to space you out. I'm going to limit your options until you pick a bad option, and then I'm going to punish you for it. Yeah. Having the frame data that he has allows him to do that. Uh, a lot of reviews don't quite get that, though, and they'll start getting lazy and they're like, oh, it's like a Mario Fireball, or oh, it's like Cheek Needles, so I'm just going to throw it out. I'm just going to throw it at them while moving. Yeah. And no, you actually want to keep your distance and just throw them out to have this active, slow projectile wall in the way. Because it makes you Especially like when you're else. recovering. I saw Mike AG yep. did that exactly. while I was trying to recover. Because he's like, go ahead, Mewtwo, throw something out, even Shadow Ball, to clash with it. And I get to recover for free. Exactly. And that's that's what a smart Ryu does. <clears throat> that's why I have a lot of respect for Mike AG's Ryu. It's but not a death. Mewtwo's four. Scary stuff. Oh. I thought so, he was going to get a footstool or something to throw off Mike or Kami. So they're both in a very scary spot here. Um, oh boy, if he was any higher up, that oh, oh and that shadow ball will take it. It looked like Mike AG was about to start doing a focus attack there. Yeah. It looks like he was starting it up and got hit before he could uh, get the go invincibility the frames. Coco is out. Yes. I'm not sure. Um, it was definitely a solid game from both players. I think this second. The second time, uh, Mike AG is going to have to kind of close the space that Kami's putting out. I agree. Uh, Kami's doing a great job of just walling him out. Yeah, he's controlling the neutral, kind of saying, you stay over there. Um, I am I like my space. But if Mike AG can make Kami uncomfortable... And he's, forward, he's doing something good. He's making Ryu approach. Ryu, you'd think with the god tier frame data he has, that he'd be so easy with approaching, right? Yeah. Not really. He has to commit hard, man. Unlike Sheik, you can't jump in one way and just kind of drift back. Yeah. If you jump in a direction, You're Ryu has way. a special property to him that he cannot change direction. Like, he has to jump or do something to change direction. Jump? Oh no, I'm committed now. Yeah, exactly. You can hold your speed and stop moving, but you can't move backwards. And that's something that's... Uh, if, if It sounds weird, I know. Try out Ryu. Just jump forward and try to hold backwards, and you'll see he'll just, at the best, stop. It's it's gross. But um, he's doing a good job right now, just limiting options, making Kami recover well. But uh, Kami's air dodge and up B are very hard to deal with. But he takes that first stock. That will take the first stock. So he's just throwing out those uh, Hadokens, just kind of keep Kami away. That up smash that a kill? covered. It's not a kill. Covered almost a Whoa. third of the stage there, making it very hard for Mike AG to do much. I, I would say Kami knows this matchup, or at least is playing it incredibly well. I would say so, because when... <sighs> he just caught the two-frame on uh, Let's Get Up and almost threw away the game by standing on that platform too long. But um, for those of you who don't know, every character in the game has the exact, almost to the T, frame data coming up from Ledge. Hmm. So not grabbing Ledge, but when you're on Ledge to do a standard Get Up, yes. they have the exact same amount of invuln frames and two frames where they're vulnerable before they can do an action. So there's a two-frame there as well. 
Uh, punishing it is tricky, and obviously frame one shield, so people will pick shield as the first option. If things getting grabs gives you an extra frame to punish. Um, there's a lot of little things like that in Smash, if you know them, you can just really win your games. And Kami abused that super well with that uh, fully charged Shadow Ball. He knows the timing. It's a slow moving projectile. He's going to linger it here, it'll catch one of those frames. Eventually, yeah. Yep, that was good stuff. Um, right now, Mike AG did a great job just controlling neutral for a little bit there and taking the percent that he needed. Well, this is looking like a different game from what and we saw earlier. And that focus attack will set up for an up air, but not a kill just yet. No. But That's that back air back will air take kills. it. Bringing it 1 1. Good stuff from Kami. The uh, that time first off was really impressive, but he did lose it rather early, around 70% uh, away on Mike G. I so. think Mike, uh, Mike heard me. He's like, all right, I got to figure out a way to approach. And that time around, Kami was having a much more difficult time getting Definitely. in. Definitely. All right, we're going to losers. So we're still in losers semis here. Mike G versus Kami going into game three. Is this going to be a best of five or three? I think this is the best of five. Okay. Because this is, this is now top Semis, eight. yeah. This is more than top eight now. This is what, like. No, top six. That's not right. Top six, top four. Top five, if I'm correct. Because loser, or no, you're right. Losers finals is top three, and so loser semis has got to be like top five. Sounds right. So the winner of this is top four, right? Yes. So that's all right. Cool. So going in here, we have uh, both players playing an amazing neutral game. Uh, Kami responding to everything so cleanly. Using those down tilts to really start these great combos, using them as the spacing tool they're designed to be, and just getting some great follow-ups going. These are great combos. Oh, man. Oh. Now, look at that one's a multi-hit. <laughs> yeah, okay. For sure. There's no <laughs> There's no, no doubt question. in my mind there. That one hits hard. So, uh, a, a Japanese player recently posted the, the proper DI mix-up to use when uh, dealing with U2's up smash. Um, you want to go against the grain, and do like almost like a half circle through it downwards. Interesting. Yeah, so you want to like steer with it and go like against the grain, and you'll just pop out. It's pretty cool. I need to watch. Same deal with uh, Cloud's Limit Side B. It has a very similar deal, but it's a different uh, one. Yeah, it was uh, it was on Twitter. Someone had like two links of like how to get out of those two and the optimal smash DI. Like you roll between like four or three points. It's pretty good. Hmm. But anyway, back to the game. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be sad to say, but They're players. Kind of both players are at kill percent right now, but Kami one of them has a kill throw. kill. Good stuff from Kami. Holding that 59%. Good Both stuff. of them, right before that kill throw, were just kind of outspacing, or not even out, they're waiting each other out, like yep. seeing who's going to mess up first. Now that Mike AG's kind of behind, I think he's going to go in a little bit more. Of course, to try to get the lead, Kami's going to wait. Oh, I would agree. I would agree. But uh, at this point, Kami can just kind of get safe damage. He doesn't have to commit to things anymore. No. Safe damage until he loses his stock and then he'll start playing his normal neutral again. Ooh, he didn't turn that one around. That actually would have caught Kami too. But it went unpunished. And Kami survived the true Shoryu. Oh, I thought he was dead. I was like, alright. Me too. On to may, the next may stock. not have been true. Oh, you know what? It might not have been sweet spotted. There's a sweet spot on the Shoryu that kills. Interesting. Uh, looked like it was though, so I don't know. I'd have to ask Mike AG. I don't know too much about Ryu. Maybe it was the ceiling. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, it is Battlefields. That's a good point, it says Battlefield. But Mewtwo's light, man. Yeah. By so. no means can you and I explain <laughs> why it didn't Off kill. Off the top. Yeah. That's what I was expecting the first time, honestly. Me too, yeah. So I'm just guessing he must have been hit by a weird hitbox and lived somehow. Some combination of DI, hitboxes, and Battlefields. Ooh, that forward air. It does some good damage, man. Get Mike AG back into a scary spot where you're like, I can still kill you. I'm not cheap. My forward air hits pretty damn hard. Uh, so let's see what he does here. Kami needs to close this out if he Definitely. wants to. If he takes like 30 more percent, he has to start being afraid again. Ooh. Ah! That was an accidental up B. Oh, but he didn't get punished for it. So, did not, whoa. That roll was nice. How viable is it for Mewtwo to use this up B as a movement option? Like a mix-up. If it auto-canceled, it would be God tier. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't auto-cancel. It doesn't. So. I... What? That was amazing. What? Jump over B reverse neutral B. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Mike AG is charging. I'll yeah. go change the score real fast. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll be Got here. It. Kami. So it's 2-1 right now. Yeah. It's, it's a great set at the moment. Kami just uh, B reversed a shadow ball into Mike AG to take the stock. While he was doing a, uh, a, a focus. A focus punch. Good stuff, Kami. So that was completely out of the blue. 
Kami is definitely showing up tonight. He's uh, saying, hey, I'm, I'm a good player. I know how to play this game. I'm going to make it to top three, man. And that's impressive. This is a pretty stacked tournament, man. Good stuff. Now, why did we go to Smashville, do you think? Tell me why Mike... <sighs> Neither did. really... I would honestly say Mewtwo benefits more from the stage than uh, Mike AG. I guess when Mike AG got the Shoryu and it didn't kill, I think that was a, ooh, maybe we shouldn't go to the uh, Battle for Lane. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was maybe one of those. And it looks like that is indeed a multi-hit. Okay, so it definitely does, because it's pushing in every which way, and it would have to be a multi-hit to do that. Yeah. All right, well, I would say Mewtwo has it on the stage only because of that platform. I want to say he can hide on the platform, and wow, Kami is in his head, uh, chasing him and with Mike those just trying to, like... Mike uh, is just some trying space, to get man. away. Same thing as when he fights against Psyche. It's, I need to get away from you. <laughs> You're giving me way too much pressure. So we're gonna have to see how this goes. Uh, Back that throw, will not, not kill, a kill, but oh. but that fast fall forward air Every will take the first Every situation you look at that this setup, very there was no game. way Mike AG was going to get out of that. Shadow ball, oh, block that. Throw, didn't die from that. Forward air, it's gonna catch he it. He covered his options. If he air dodged again, too low to recover. Yeah, exactly. That was brilliant from the Very well done, Kami. Eliminating options. It's a uh, staple in fighting games, man. And Jeez. right now, we have a, a full, full stock. stock lead. A full stock lead. This is a very scary spot to be in for a Mike AG. Mike AG really can't afford to lose this game either, so this is definitely important. Uh, if I was Mike AG right now, I'd try to evaluate what's been going wrong. Um, trying to do that while you're getting overwhelmed is and slapped impossible. around? Impossible. It, it's, it's impossible. Close oh, to. Well, I would say you'd have to be one hell of a player to do it. Like, even top level players have issues with that. And that's. Like I'm uh, talking how many top actually. level players have been put in a situation where they're behind an entire stock? You'd be surprised. Zero VM2K was very brutal to watch. <laughs> that, that was. I saw it. It was. I loved it. I was like, it yay, was. Mewtwo King. But uh, back to the game. We looks like we have a, a new Mewtwo King here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing some work. Well, he's. He's fine. he's fine. I feel like Ryu's getting a little riskier than he needs to be. He knows he needs to get the stock out, and he's he's very able to. With almost max rage, getting Mewtwo is in kill percent. They're both in kill percent. But yeah, they're... They are Mike's both. back a little bit. He's like, uh. Well, I mean, thing is, they can both get a kill off of a good confirm here. Exactly. So they're both in a spot that they can win. This is no one's game just yet. Oh, Punched what? him right through. through the Shadow Ball, but that corner will fair. kill across the stage. And that'll take it. Kami 3-1 on Mike AG. Jeez. I thought when he punched the the charged ball... That was going to be it. Yeah, you're like, but what? Ryu can do that? <sighs> Let's just say that was amazing. That was crazy. Yeah. Now that is an upset <laughs> I like to see, ladies and gentlemen. Mike AG did look like he's a little bit rusty today, but that is no excuse. Kami coming out in full force, showing us just what Mewtwo can do, and that is Making amazing. Making it to top three? He's going wow. to lose his finals, right?